Hello, everyone. My name is Bosse Rote. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Holy Technologies. Very happy to be here. So, in the context of the energy transition, we need to lightweight our boats, our cars, our drones, our aircraft, wind turbine blades, everything needs to become much lighter to increase the payloads, to make the battery lifetimes longer, to make it overall more efficient. And to make it lighter, we have composites. Composites are a massive demand and will be so in the next years. But composite manufacturing has a big problem. Two problems, actually. The first being that the existing recycling solutions that exist for this are really bad. So what we can do today is either landfilling or we can do downcycling by shredding the material, but we cannot reuse any of this valuable material at all. And the second problem is that the cost of production is way, still way too high. It's very expensive to make these components. And if we want to bring this into mass adoption to lightweight so much of our hardware for our mobility applications, we need to make it cheaper, significantly cheaper. And that is what we are all about. So we are building a digital production system that, that, that allows to cut the cost of production of composite manufacturing by up to 50%. And we're targeting a very broad application base. So we're talking 80% of the, of, of the applications of composites that are out there. The second big benefit of the, of the production system that we develop here is the recyclability, recyclability. So what we do is that we design the components for recycling. Other than building a component and then trying to do the best of it at the end of life, we're incorporating the thought of sustainability already in the design at the very beginning, before the components are actually being made. And so we started off by showcasing this production system with our first customer from the Formula One, where we built components for this season to, to really showcase that we can build lighter than they can. So we're currently able to build 20% lighter than, than what, what they are doing um, in certain components. We were able to showcase that we can save material up to 30% uh, in, the, in the component and make, actually produce it cheaper in those cases. And we showcase that we can recycle these components and even use second life and third life components for extremely high performance applications. And so the essence of the problem is a very complex optimization problem. What you want to do is that you get a CAD file, so a 3D object of any kind of component, and you throw it into an engine that determines the optimal manufacturing process, the most efficient material placing, so the fiber layup, and you want to throw everything into one model to arrive at the end at a very efficient component. And that is something um, that we focus on with our time. I actually brought this component here, and I want to explain to you for a second what the challenge is here. So what we do differently than anybody else, essentially, is that we use one single fiber. So usually, if you would build such a component, you would, you, you would use weavings to build this component. What we do is we use one single fiber to place a single fiber in, in, in a given geometry. And as you can imagine, as you have millions over millions of different, different geometries that components can have, it's a very complex optimization problem to find the optimal path, the optimal route of this single fiber without damaging it. You don't want to cut through it. You don't want to drill a hole into it. So you need to design all of these things already into the component from scratch. And that is exactly what we're doing. And that is what the first step of our technology is, is the path computation. So really, the path of the single fiber, where does it have to be to have the most efficiency? Then the second is a robotic placement. So this is additive manufacturing. So we use industrial scale robots, where, which, can ro which can place the fibers very efficiently and fully optimized. And the last piece is the technology to recycle this material, um, which is essentially a very simple um, dynamic, but it's a, it's a technology that allows us to take the fibers out at the end of life of the components, to get it back on a spool, wash them, and then be able to reintroduce them into the manufacturing process to build another high performance component. So true circularity, we believe we can achieve up to seven life, lives with the uh, current uh, state of development um, of this material. So the goal is to become the, def the, the default manufacturing system for composites. We are only starting now with carbon fiber, as it is the most valuable material of it all. But there's glass fiber, there's aramid fibers, there's basalt fibers. So the technology can work for all these fiber types. 
And we are now approaching the market from a top-down top down approach. So we're starting with the very high-performance segment. It's mainly motorsport. We're talking drones. Uh, we're, we're talking specific cases where the high performance of the material is very relevant. Um, to showcase our, our production system there with smaller series to then grow it into large series production uh, to eventually be able to build uh, wind turbine blades with a purely robotic process. And so, yeah, these are some of the brands that we're currently um, partnering with. Um, to, yeah, motorsport, it's mainly motorsport currently, and we have uh, much more to come now in the next year on that. So in terms of the stage of, of development, the, the challenge here is to industrialize this technology. So making 100 components a year with the technology is one thing. Making 100,000 a year is a whole different thing. And so that is what we're currently doing. Currently, we're in the stage where we can make single units of components with the system. And now we're building the Folk, the first of a kind production line, a full-fledged industrial scale production line that can build a series of components. Um, and we are looking to finish that within the next 18 months to then be able to have a larger, larger go to market on the back of that. Yes, who are we? We are a team of aerospace engineers. So my co-founder uh, comes from CTC, from, the, from Airbus, from the Airbus environment. Uh, we're PhDs from automotive. Um, so we bring a lot of expertise in this field. And what we do unique and maybe different than most other engineering bureau, bureaus who work in this space is that we combine this composite knowledge with software knowledge. So we approach a typically very mechanical engineering problem with, from the software side, and we try to take as much of the complexity of this problem to solve it with software rather than solving it with com very expensive robotic mechanisms. And uh, that, that is what we're doing. Thank you very much.